In this social traffic networking video, we're looking at meetup.com. That's M-E-E-T-U-P dot com. Meetup dot com is a place where you can actually start to meet real groups of people. As it says here, you can use the internet to get off the internet. If you're serious about building your business, networking with people, going to events and groups and meetings is a great way to build joint venture relationships and partnerships and to meet like-minded people. Now, that could be just people in your niche. If you go to a meeting with people who have something that you're passionate and interested about, and that way you can be seen to be establishing yourself as an expert or it can be just from the point of view of a peer network where you're starting to joint venture and just build relationships with people in your field. So for example if you're involved in the internet marketing or perhaps you were doing something like the 30 day challenge that seems to happen every year in August then you could be looking for groups of people that were meeting up to work together in teams or to help each other to grow online. So meetup.com is a great way of doing that, meeting new people, getting offline to events and building those relationships relationships. So to sign up, you can just um, register with the site. So we, before we go ahead and register, I'm just going to show you how you can browse. You can browse by topics, by cities, your city if you want to, and you can just go through. So for example, if you wanted to look at different countries, say for example, you were in New York and you wanted to see what was happening in your area, you could then actually go through. So for example, if we take New York, New York, You can see the different types of groups that are meeting here. There's automotive groups, books, cultures, education, film, hobbies, health, financial, internet, sports. Um, there's all different types of groups that are meeting up. Uh, the Entrepreneur Meetup uh, has 246 entrepreneurs, that are members. Um, where they're working together to build and grow their business to the next level. So you can find different particular networks that relate to you where you'd like to build peer groups and meet other people and actually start to network offline. You can use the Meetup site as a great way to do that. Of course, you'll also be able to post information in your profile so people can come and find you online as well. It's not just obviously restricted to you going to events, but it's a great way to build your credibility once again in your network. So to go along and sign up, we just literally hit register and we can start the sign up process on Meetup. Okay, so you just put in your name, your email address, create a password, your location and zip code or a postcode. Agree to the terms and conditions. You can choose to be remembered on the computer or you can put in your own details each time you come along and then hit the submit button. You'll then get this page here which says almost done. We can just send an email to your email address. You need to verify and click that email to finish the sign up process. You'll get an email into your email account and you just need to click the link to verify and confirm your account. And as you can see after clicking the link it says thanks your emails have now been verified. Let's get started. So now we can log in to the meetup account we've just created. You're then asked if you want to join a meetup group near you or near the town and you just put in your area of interest and then it'll give you some results. So for example here we put in entrepreneur and then we got different groups and if you can scroll down here you can see there's the 30 day challenge which is based on the 30jchallenge.com which happens live every August. So you can actually get involved in the events themselves um, and actually work with a group of like-minded people so you could go along and take a look at the group and if you decided it's something that you're interested in you could join and you can see um, recent comments um, who it's organized by other nearby groups when the next meeting is going to be um, what people have said about the particular group so you can find out good information before you decide to perhaps go ahead and join you can even get an RSS feed of what's going on news so have it in your uh, newsreader to keep up to date and if you want to attend you can just join it tells you who's coming to the event People have said yes, people have said maybe, and of course once you get in the swing of actually going to these types of groups, then you can go ahead and actually set up your own group within Meetup and start arranging events where people get together, entrepreneurs, business people, web designers, whatever it is in your field, you can set these groups up and start meeting people relevant to your field. So if you go into your profile section, you can add your hometown, you can see when you've joined as a member, uh, you can add your birthday information, your interests, meetup groups that you've joined, uh, you can manage a greeting here to put greetings for people who come to your profile, any friends that you're adding, 
You can then look at meetup groups, add photos, friends and greetings. And you can also um, start to browse the site. Now one thing you want to be um, note of here, if I go into one of the groups, so for example I've just um, browsed to looking for entrepreneurs and small business and you see here there's one created about LinkedIn which is another social traffic networking site where people are actually meeting here in this case in London in the UK they're actually meeting up to discuss how they can network and build a community together within LinkedIn itself and all I wanted to show this for is if you look at these different parts and tabs here uh, you can check these once you remember in more detail but also if you're going to start your own meetup you can then put information about so the about us section so you can talk about what your particular group is about if you're going to set up your own you can use the calendar where you can set up a calendar of events put in important events that are coming up um, on your calendar so other people can see it as people then join you'll see the different members and their information will come up photos if you've got any group photos once you started having your events make sure you put them into the actual site um, the mailing list here um, no one has sent a message yet and you then got message boards polls files that you can share so if you want to share um, files within your particular meetup group and also then to promote if you hit the promote this is a great tool part here if you're part of a group to use but also if you're going to start your own meetup you can promote your meetup group you can invite people um, to your meetup groups if you know someone would like to meet you can just basically your name will come up you can type in up to 10 email addresses with commas, type in a message down here, and then you will um, put in the validation code and hit send, and you can invite people to your meetup group. Now, just for a moment, okay, it's 10 emails at a time. You don't want to start spamming people, but if you know people who want to pull into one of your meetup groups um, to get something rolling, this would be a great way of doing it, so I recommend that. You've also then got, um, going back to the promote section, you can create printed material um, like t-shirts, flyers with tear off tabs for um, giving people, um, handing them out as flyers. You've got business cards, you've got the logos, you've got tabletop signs. This is useful. So for example, say you're meeting in a coffee shop and you've arranged or a hotel lobby or something for the first one, it's more informal and you've decided to, you've spoken to the hotel or the bar or whatever you're using and they've said, yeah, you know, as long as you're buying coffee and, and drinks from us, we'll let you use a few tables. You can then put these on the table so people can easily find you and know they found the right group and don't go sitting with the wrong group of people. You can have badges if you want to. Uh, there's other widgets you can use onto your website. And there's also this as well. If you've got a Facebook account, another great social networking media, then you can set up Meetup within your Facebook profile. Now, just for one moment, if you actually start to think about this, um, you're already seeing here a site where they've got a LinkedIn uh, meeting. Well, how about a Facebook party um, with people you've met on Facebook? If you've got a profile, combine the two sites together, use the application and start getting your Facebook friends to come to live events that you organize as well. This can be where you start off having it, maybe it's a free or people say, for example, you're charging a small amount just to cover your room costs so people just contribute to that. You could then start inviting guest speakers within your field um, who will quite happily come and talk to you um, or either for a fee or maybe be able to just have a 10 minute spot at the end where they can offer people a product that they own that's relative to your niche and then people might just choose to purchase. So there's lots of things you could start using meetup for um, within your business just to show you those little widgets I pointed to a second ago you can add these little badges to your websites so you can have a, a membership badge which just shows people that you're a member of um, meetup you can have a dynamic list of upcoming meetup events it just scrolls on your site you can have a topic count which gives an up-to-date count of the worldwide meetups in your particular topic perhaps or a search by topic box so people can actually search from your website for upcoming meetups in your particular favorite topic you can have um, meetups by city a current list of upcoming meetups in your air and you can even have a search by city bar on your um, site as well so you can integrate these into your websites and start attracting those people to your groups and getting your events going
if you just go to the account tab, you can change your name, user ID, uh, email address, your password, your location, your hometown, your birthday, and you can also add a photograph here as well with inside your account. And then if you decide you want to go ahead and actually start a group of your own, hit start a meetup, and you can then go through the process of creating a meetup group. So you put what it's relevant to, which as you've got here, examples could be knitting, parenting, book club, small business. You pick a topic that you think is relevant and start going through the process. Um, you then customize your page, choose a plan, and then start planning actual meetups where you can invite people. Before you start moving on to this, though, I would ex extremely recommend the first thing you do will be to explore other meetups and maybe just find one local to you see how people run the event, see how um, the services run within the web and what information you're getting. And you can use this as a model to improve upon to make yours fly off to a great start when you decide to go ahead and organize your own meetup group. That's it. That's meetup.com. Start using the methods today to get new joint venture partners, get traffic. Don't forget, make use of your profile to show where your website address is. So when people check you out on Meetup, they know what site is yours or even your blog so they can come and find you. And that's meetup.com. Thanks for watching.